Gum Gallop, the squabble double wobble gobble flibber blah blah blah. I'm full of swimble glimber kind. I am. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just got motivation to make a video. Gotta play games, gotta make an intro, gotta play games, gotta make it true. No. No. You're not trending anymore. Let's go. Yeah. That's more like it. How we doing everyone? This is quite a spontaneous little video right now. I just thought to myself, what if I type, where's Google? Oh, oh no, this is probably some very dodgy site. Do not clicky anything on that site. I found myself on Google and I thought to myself, what if I just type in furry games? I thought this to myself because the uh, video that I made on changed. Dog? Uh. Don't open the photographs. Actually has done the best so far on my channel. I'm very sorry to anyone that has followed me for other reasons, but I really would like to touch up on this subject again by just simply Googling furry games, finding just sort of anything. And the first one that I found was on itch.io or itch.io. I'm, I feel very itchy saying that. I just wanted to write furry games and I just wanted to see what is actually available. Now, uh, most of the ones over here are... Ooh, not that. Uh, most of the ones over here are free, from what I see. There is a rather large selection of some really good-looking games, some very interesting-looking games. We're just gonna go straight into it. There is some Undertale-fonted one, which seems to be in the NSFW section, but we shall see how it goes. The good thing about this is that I can get rid of... I, I can edit out anything that might be a little bit odd. I already have a bit of a selection over here. Uh, I'm gonna have to censor some of these. Let's go straight for the one that is a Undertale slash Deltarune sort of 18 plus. Well, well, everyone, good thing I am not monetized. Let's give this a try. <laughs> and then I could just uh, censor whatever is not allowed here. Now, a lot of these I might need to download, and sure. Alright, so let's have a go at Win64 over here. I actually have no idea what to really expect from any of these, or what I might actually be playing. These might not make it into my video, for obvious reasons. Judy. Judy Hops? J oh no, I can't play this one. Okay, okay. Now, there is some other games over here which do seem, um, possibly a little bit more safe to play. Next up, after that very spontaneous view of uh, Beat Gamer, Beat Saber, Beat, oh, whatever it was, do not kill me, Jacob. So what do you want with me, goat? You've awoken to an unfamiliar place. There appears to be a sheep in front of you. Excuse me, you're not a goat, you're a sheep. But, ah, good, you're finally awake. You may be wondering... Uh, should I read this as a goat? Uh, you should be worrying about what's going to happen to you. If it wasn't already a bivis, I'm gonna kill you! Oh, he's a little bit agitated. Uh, if it wasn't already a yet, yeah, well, maybe. It'll depend on how I feel about you. Aha! So, he has a mood. I'm guessing this is more of a talking game. Uh, how did I just manage to open that? Return, please. The best way to get to know someone is through bombarding them with questions. <laughs> oh, where should I start? How about this? What do you think of sheep? Well, considering the fact that I just confused you and called you a goat, I do apologize. But sheep are soft and sound a bit crap, but apparently there's no option for that. So do we toy with him? What sort of goat are you? Do you like to be bullied or do you like to be treated nicely? Let's say, let's say you're cool. Are you just trying to flatter me? If you are, it's working. Am I gonna get out of this with a boyfriend goat or am I gonna get out of this with a slit throat? That rhymes. Okay, let me think of something else to ask. Oh, got one. 
Do you think you deserve to die? That's a little bit straightforward, my good Sir Jacob. Uh... Tell you what, let's toy with you on this one. Yeah. Oh, really? I'm kind of... How do I keep... I'm kind of curious why you think so. But I'm just a serial killer, not a therapist, so I'll save it for later. Let's see what else. This one may sound out of the blue, but... What are your views on vegetarians? You know... Considering you are a goat, a uh, sheep, sorry, a sheep? Considering you are a sheep, I wonder what you want to hear. Cause do people eat goat? They drink their milk, they take the udder, they do squeeze on that little uh, sumptuous udder of yours. Don't take that out of context, please do not quote me on that. Goat milk does taste good. Um, goat itself, I've never really tried. I've never really tried goat. I've tried lamb, lamb is delicious. That might have been your mother that I've eaten. I'm really putting my words badly together. Uh, I'm so sorry. They're fine. They're fine. Sure. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Good, 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 good. We are on the same page. Vegetarians are fine. We both don't have a problem with them. You didn't ask me if I eat meat or not, so I guess that's okay. You are pleased. Uh, for some reason, I keep on coming across people who think, who keep complaining about them. Like, we're just trying to live our lives. Okay, so you're a vegetarian. Oh, yeah. I'm a vegetarian, by the way. Yeah, um, if someone is a vegetarian, they're gonna tell you. Even if they want to kill you, they will tell you they're a vegetarian. Does that mean you think I'm fine, maybe? <laughs> just kidding. Let's move on. <sighs> I think I'm starting to get an impression of you. And I'm getting an impression of you. You just want to date me by the end of this. So what if you dying would result in me not killing anyone else? Would you let me kill you? Honestly, honestly, my good friend, my good goat deer, sheep, my good sheep. Tough question, tough question. What would I say in real life? Finding myself in that situation, that is quite tough, but I don't really want to put myself out there as like the next Jesus Christ, but I think I might actually, if I had your word on this, I would say that I would let you kill me. That does sound pretty good. He's quite shocked at that. Most people will only care for themselves. Uh, maybe I caught the wrong person. Okay, I got another one. Do you think you'll be the first person I'll kill? You have no blood on you. But you have... A little bit of a psychotic look on you. You did call yourself a serial killer, but Jacob... I feel like you haven't killed anyone. So, yes. Uh, ooh. Why do you think I have this whole room? He didn't like that. The blood covering. Okay, all right. So sure, there is blood. Not on you. I mean, you're very clean. You even cleaned your knife. Thank you. Like, I'm not going to get infected if I die. Which I guess it doesn't matter. Now I'll ask one last question for you. Are you scared of what I'll do to you? I don't want to be tough. I really don't want to be tough. I feel like that's the last thing that this guy wants to hear. So yeah, I would be scared of what you want to do. I wouldn't blame you since you know you are being held hostage. Okay, I've decided. Oh boy, what's it going to be? I might have accidentally called you a goat, but that was in my own head. What's it going to be, Jacob? I'll let you live. Uh, yes, yes, I am happy to live another day. You better be. Don't make me regret this. Uh, you're not gonna regret it. If you breathe a bird, a bird. If you breathe a bird, <laughs> ooh, I'll get you. If you breathe a word about this to another living soul. Don't you dare think you'll be getting away with again. And as I am untied, the end has come among us. Hey, that's a good ending. <laughs> Jacob did kill me. Next up, let's. Uh, I have this one open. Please tell me that's your legs and that's not someone's buttocks up against you. Uh, let's see. What do I do? What is this? There's a shark. I can change his... Oh, no. Is this one of those games where I can just kind of... That's very worrying. I cannot show that. <laughs> what the hell is three lesbians in a barrel? Hang on. Let's, let's go with this one. This one is a game called Lookouts. It seems quite wholesome. It is a little bit more reading, a little bit more story-based. Uh, a lot of these on Itch.io seem to be quite story-based, quite short, these uh, free ones over here. And you can, of course, support all these artists over here. There is 
This one does have quite a nice little looking art style. Oh, oh crap, this has started already. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing you've got like a little bit of a, not, not redneck, western voice to you? This guy is someone to ride the river with. He'd never sell me bunk information. That town has struck gold from what he's heard. Heard? He just heard about it. Now what kind of source is that? We can't go in off of rumors, you nutcase. But I'll, I'll think about it. We'll be living like English kings if we take over a supply like that. What else are we gonna do? The last job was a bust. We got nothing left. Now, all right. We've had some bad luck and are running low on essentials. We'll take that town by hook or crook. And if they don't have that gold, we'll take them for what they do have and skedaddle. Now make sure to bring us back some juicy details, won't you, tomboy? He firmly slaps you on the back. Laughter fills the camp around the war and fire. Okay, so I guess I'm not alone. Sounds like you'll be riding at sunup to check the town out. Uh, you feel it's best to get some sleep. Well, let's get some sleep then. A lot of these games seem to have quite a cute little art style. The desert is an orange haze. Scorched sands whip up around your horse's legs. The sun hot against your back as you ride towards the town. Hey, that's a nice little style. Yeah, that's what I meant. A lot of these games seem to have quite a cute little style. Now, there's not much to be done while riding. The desert's lonely, harsh, bare. The only thing to do is to think. You don't like being alone with your thoughts so often, for so long. But you always are alone as the lookout. Alone being the odd stick of the gang. No one really talks to you unless they need something. You daydream as you ride, like usual. Flights of fancy of settling down somewhere. You're tied to Curly Wolf and his gang, though. Is it so much to ask to be able to live in peace? To not have to fight for survival? Maybe that's what your life will be like. Gang or not, a hunted outcast. They could have sent you off with some playing cards at the very least. Sounds a little bit sad so far, I'll be honest, but I, I wasn't here just to play the fun games. You come to an outcrop in near cliff. Try tying up your horse, you approach the edge and see the town come into view. A nice frontier town, small, but clearly bustling with people. White painted signs on the wooden buildings glint and bloom in the midday sun. You can't see much else from where you up here, and you turn to get your binoculars. You open your saddlebag and pull the metal binoculars out, brushing it against your poncho to dust off the lenses. Turning back to walk to the edge, a figure suddenly rounds the corner. A large rock you decided to set camp under. Am I a bird too? No, I'm more of a rat looking thing, and he's he's a bit more of an eagle kind of guy. Ah! <laughs> Fuck, that's a terrible. Ah! Caw! Oh shit, I, I scared the poor guy. Out of instinct, your hand snaps to your holstered gun and pulls it. Trained squarely at the head of this new person. Oh shit, do I only have one arm? Bird who seemingly came from nowhere looks at you. Clearly just as surprised and out of sorts from your own presence. He shifts backwards, iron your hand on your gun. The air feels very still all of a sudden, and given you have the upper hand, you take a moment to look at who you just cropped up past with. He's definitely an outlaw like yourself, a rugged beak shining in the sun, Sandra's a face you admittedly find charming. Alright, so I'm immediately in love with some random little outlaw. Their face and arms are marked with scars, and a large sawn-off shotgun hangs off in their holster. My good man, how are you holding that sawn-off with your feathers? <laughs> I don't think sawn-offs- like, you need good grip for a sawn-off. You try to shoot a sawn-off without holding it properly, it's either gonna smack you in the beak and knock it off, you're gonna be left like a beakless bird. Since he's a bird, you know to be wary, just like he'll know to be wary of a canid like yourself. Alright, so we're some sort of coyote, I guess? Howdy there. What's your name, partner? Yo, Seth. I don't think that's what he's gonna sound like. And- what are you doing all the way out here, Joseph? You seem a dreadful long way away from where one might think you should be. I could ask you the same question. <laughs> what is that voice I'm giving him? You stare him dead in the eye. He's pretty calm for someone having a gun pointed at his head. Am I still- I am still pointing it. Were you trying to sneak up on me, Joseph? Rob me blind? Where no one else could see? I bet you thought a fella missing an arm would be easy. I had no idea. <laughs> Fuck, oh my god, this has really gone bad. No idea you were 
here till I walked around this here rock. I don't even know what I am at this point. Am I like half American, half Swedish or something? I don't think an American eagle would be like half Swedish. He pats the redstone beside him as if to make a point. Sir, what in the Sam Hill? You lower your gun like your shoulder joint you just gave out and let it hang there. In all my years, no stranger has ever called me sir. Well, color me surprised, fella. You'd have to be blind or as fool as a tick to not see an upstanding young gentleman. All right, all right. Now you're just licking my boot. Oh, he's a hawk. Excuse me, Mr. E Eglock. Eglock Musk. That's a... Well, we just found out Elon Musk's persona. The hawk puts a hand to his chest. Good is my witness. I ain't lying to ya. You holster your gun and snort a small laugh. May he strike you down as a penance then. What are you doing out here? Picking flowers? I'm part of the Black Vulture gang. I'm on the lookout here to survey this here berg. That's very forward of you, considering I just had a gun pointed your way. I'm part of the Curly Wolf Gang myself. Well, I'll be damned! You boys have been all over the West. What brings you right here? Much the same as you, I would imagine. Rumors of gold. You'd have it just right. Well, I can imagine what my boss might want to do, coming across someone who's sticking their beak in your business. Our business. Joseph tenses up. Feathers ruffled. He understands full well what you mean. Conflicting interests and all. Ooh, a little bit of awkward silence. A little bit of, uh, a little bit of a wound blush. Is he still sweating? I, I mean, it is probably smoked it hot in the desert. But he's not here. Would be a real waste of a good bullet to use it on you. Is that an insult or are you trying to make a mash on me? The small jibe is enough to make you stop talking and search for the binoculars you threw when you pulled your gun. Turning your face away to hide the blood, rushing to your cheeks under your dark fur. Are you blushing? My lad's blushing over here. Ah, J uh, shit. Oh, we never got his name. I'm stuck on Jacob from that damn goat game. Uh, sheep, I'll never get it right. That's kind of cute. Uh, you dust the binoculars off again and walk over to where Joseph is standing, his eyes keenly trained on the town. Don't need no binoculars then, huh? No, sir. These eyes can see all the faces of those people down there, no problem. Sir, again. Maybe it's just a habit of his to call people that. Say, why do you keep calling me sir? I ain't your boss. You just that much of a polite suck up? Cause nothing to be kind on the trail I've found. Now what did most call you then? Ah, you thought this might come up? Of course, you're surprised it took this long for him to ask about who you are, what you are. Most would say tomboy, I think. Or other things I wouldn't repeat in such a polite company. And what would you call yourself? The question takes you by surprise. Something uh, something else no one's ever asked you. I'd call myself a man. Oh, is that so? He's going to think you're a nut now. <laughs> you just know it. I mean, would the first thing that I would say also be, I'm a man, if I just find some random guy in the desert? It'd be a little bit awkward, but to be fair, I mean, there's a little bit of friction going on between these two. I ship him. I'm already pushing him towards each other. Date, 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 date. Uh, he's going to think you're a nut now. You just know it. Better be getting back on your horse uh, right now and ride him back than staying another second around this stranger. How funny. I guess we're in the same boat if I'm picking up where you're putting down. Might say that the guys at the camp don't use that. Don't use shove the queer to talk about the money. You nod at him, unsure whether to laugh or not. Neither of you seem sure what to say now. A little bit awkward, a little bit awkward. Awkward? <laughs> You hold the binoculars to the bridge of your nose and investigate the town to give him a breather. Say, since we're looking for the same thing, what you say you and me work together? The bird considers it for a moment, scratching his chin with a feather. Do birds have chins? Or is that what you would call the lower beak? Do birds ha- do birds have chins? A bird's chin is exactly where you'd expect it to be, just under the beak. Let's see, where would it be? Oh! Okay, so it's not part of the beak. It would be where the uh, th throat is? Oh, it's a little slump on the, on, under the beak. Oh my god, I didn't know that beaks actually have a proper name. Lower mandible or upper mandible? So there's three different parts to a bird's beak. Birds have an upper mandible and birds have a lower mandible. And a chin. And a throat. And lesser coverts, breast median coverts. You know, there's a lot on a bird. I didn't know there was so much. Ooh, just don't go near his primaries. You know, so far, th this is uh, quite a wholesome little game. Deal, goes Joseph. He, okay, he's very happy about this. 
He grabs your hand in a firm and enthusiastic handshake, smiling like an idiot. All right, you big lug. You punch him playfully in the arm. These two are really getting along. Holy crap. Could you get a camp started while I go around this valley and check which building's the bank? Can do, sir. He turns and goes together what he needs, and you walk off in the opposite direction around the cliffs. You look back for a few moments to watch him left, heft, excuse me, heft some wood, and then turn tail back to where you were headed, letting the winds from the shaded valley cool off your blushing face. You return a handful of hours later. The galley, the, the galley? Bloody hell, I'm just thinking of airplanes at this point. Uh, the valley is deceptively large, and it took you much longer to walk where you needed and back then anticipated. Joseph sees you and gets up from where he was sitting, tending to a pot of food, walking towards you quickly. You tense up as he approaches, expecting some due anger at you, accidentally leaving him to set up camp all by himself. He closes the distance between you and you close your eyes as his hands reach out to you, expecting a blow. You flinch when you feel a weight around your shoulders. Opening your eyes, you see your thick blanket on you. You trying to die out there? You'll get con con what? Con you'll get consumption like that? You know how cold that? What do you mean consumption? Back to Google. Consumption. Do is there a second meaning that I'm not aware of? A wasting disease, especially pulmonary tuberculosis. He pulls you over to the fire and sits down with you. Ah, uh, I'm dreadful sorry I was gone for so long. Shut your bazoo and get warm. You hadn't noticed till he mentioned the cold, but your hand is numb. And so are your feet. Thank you, Joseph. Nothing to it. Eat up. He hands you a hot bowl of beans. It almost hurts against your whole cold hand, but it's soothing. Will dogs fart if they eat beans? You eat together in relative silence beneath the dark starlit sky. It's nice and romantic until the other guy gives you beans and then you're fucking rootin' tootin' all night right next to him like he's trying to be romantic, putting blankets on you. You better keep that blanket on unless you want to give him like a concussion with your farts. You both finish and you pull the blanket round you. You're still cold. The desert chills sweep it under the blanket still. I definitely see where this is going. Are you not cold? I've been around the fire all night, haven't I? I'm fine. Bad liar if you can see his feathers twitching and shivering. That's the bad thing about animals. I mean, to be fair, humans, uh, we have those things called goosebumps, which... Bloody hell, I have no idea why someone decided to call them goosebumps. But yeah, we have those things called goosebumps, and that's also visible that we're cold and blah blah blah. You stand up with the blanket and pull it over onto him, sitting down with him. You're right, it's definitely cold, but a lot warmer than you'd have imagined. Uh by the way, this is apparently from Paranoid Hawk with Hey, that's pretty cute. As long as this don't turn into broke back mountain while I'm playing, it's all good. After I stop playing, do what you want. Don't give me that blow, tough guy. He looks like he's gonna say something, but just shuts his beak. He suddenly seems a lot warmer. Together you huddle, bringing the blanket tighter and tighter, and moving closer and closer to each other. He smells like the desert, dusty and sweaty. Well, I could imagine that this is what Arthur Morgan smells like. If you want to be like that, this is Arthur Morgan, and that is John Marston. There's definitely fan art of that, but most likely on all the weird websites. Do not Google it. Actually, let's quickly Google it. Uh, there you go, as expected. Lots of kissy kissy cowboys. Why is this so warm? Why do you feel like this? Not warm, like you're around a fire, but like there's a fire inside you. Warm coals shifting round inside and embers spitting in your throat. Have you ever felt like this before? Joseph. I, he looks at you, your face so close together. You lean your head into his shoulder, staring into the wild dance of the fire. I haven't met someone like me before, or someone like you. God, my my terrible attempts at voice acting. I do apologize. Unsubscribe. You're extremely kind, even to a stranger like me. I wish I could know you more than these few hours. I know I have to ride back in the morning, but of all the hopes I've hoped, the strongest is that I could just stay here. That the sun would never rise. Great, now I've completely lost touch of this. It, like, I strongly recommend you play this by yourself if you really want to sit for the wholesomeness. It's not really so much a game as it is a visual novel, but yeah. I, I don't want to go back. You stay clinging to him. After a few moments, he pulls you tighter. I have to say, I feel the same way. I can see in you someone who's faced so many hardships. Someone who deserves better who's worked harder than 
any of the lump suckers back where you've come from. Lump suckers. Lump suckers, I do like that. We're a couple of queer fish in a barrel, I'd say. Lord knows how we found each other. The sun will come up again. We'll have to go our separate ways, but you lift your head to look at him, but he just gives you a look and turns back to the fire. No, never mind. What are you thinking? He sighs wearily, like he's been asked to carry the world on his back. It's a flight of fancy. But if our bosses are both looking for the same thing, that could be an opportunity of sorts. I don't know. He looks at you, almost for approval, sees you're still listening, and continues. We could get him to fight, and escape when no one's looking. Right east. Till we know no one's chasing us. That sounds nice. You both cuddle for a little while. You both cuddle for a little while longer, sitting close and resting your heads together. The thoughts of running away ticking over in your mind. Is it that out of reach? What? I don't think he reacted like that. That would be terrible. That would be a, like, put you off the mood immediately. Think about it. Our gangs fight. We could sabotage them as lookouts to kill each other and then pick off anyone left over. I don't know. I, I hate the Black Vulture gang, but I can't shoot straight. I'd get killed. I wouldn't let that happen. I'll keep you safe. We can keep each other safe. A fight feels inevitable. We should use it. We can rile them up. Tell the sheriff in advance to stop any other folks getting hurt. You really that desperate to get out? Yeah. He sighs the same sigh again. Long and heavy. Almost theatrical. If it weren't for the life or death stakes laid out before you both. I think you're right. A chance like this won't come again. I might even be tempted to call it fate. We should get some sleep. Come morning, I'll tell the sheriff. Get our bosses to the town by sundown tomorrow. And hope on a kiss and a prayer that we make it out alive. He chuckles. Isn't that the story of our lives? This will be the last time we have to fight like that. You both fall asleep against each other, dreaming of that promise. Praying for a better tomorrow and willing to fight for it. End! Hey! A game by Cold Duggo Paranoid Hawk for the Gay Western Itch.io Jam. Had no idea there was such a specific game jam, but thank you for playing. Yeah, uh, I, I do apologize that the ending of this video turned out to be quite uh, more on the wholesome side, which is a little bit different to my usual absolute stupidity and mess of videos that I make. Check out this tiny key. Thank you very much for watching. I just finished recording this video, as you can see. Check it out. I can do this cool thing. Nah. Thanks very much for watching that video that you just watched. It is a little bit different to what my usual ones turn out to be and all that kind of stuff. Thank you for the 243 subscribers, but I've been uploading once every two months. Well, that's what I call consistency. As always, I'm very thankful for every single view, everything. I upload, uh, I just upload whenever I feel like it, basically. Thanks very much. Enjoy your insert day here.